This woman wanted to be beautiful. She soaks herself in a mysterious cosmetic. Her skin is red and tingling all over her body. But the woman still won't give up. Until the lotion drowns her. The woman climbs out of the tub covered in goo. But she feels like she's been reborn. She walks over to the mirror to see how she looks. She saw that her teeth were white and shiny. Her eyes were back to normal. The dead skin on her legs peeled off to reveal her delicate skin. Some of this magical slime came from a TV commercial with a remote control and a phone. You can get a perfect new lease of life. Today's story is called Outside In. Lucy is an ordinary office worker. Her hobbies are taxidermy and staying at home watching TV and eating. She is very timid and mentally sensitive. The slightest noise can cause her to panic. This night Lucy hears another strange noise. Nervous. She grabbed her axe and looked around. But there was nothing in the house. Every now and then she calls her husband Jack. The policeman. For help. He's used to it. He reassured his wife not to worry. Old houses are just prone to noises. Then he hung up the phone. The night went by without incident. Lucy went to work as usual the next day. There was a serious gender imbalance at the company. It was all women. So gossip spreads very quickly. The colleagues were talking all the time. It was all about who had had plastic surgery and who was with a married man. Shy Lucy doesn't fit in at all. She was a veritable fringe of the workplace. Lucy's job is simple, but sometimes she has to work overtime. One day, she stayed late at work. A female colleague comes over with a Christmas hat. She says there's one last paper tag left inside. Everyone played Secret Santa and had to prepare gifts for the person who had been drawn. Then they give them to each other at Anna's party. After the colleagues left, Lucy unfolded the slip of paper. She actually drew Anna. The next day Lucy went duck hunting with her gun. She was going to make a specimen of the duck for Anna. She expertly cut out the duck's innards. She blew out the feathers and filled the duck's belly with its contents. Finally, she stitched up the wound and gave the duck a glass eye. At that moment Jack came home from work. Lucy bragged to her husband that she had received an invitation to Anna's party. It was the most popular female colleague. Jack didn't like Anna's gang at all. They were pompous and without substance. But Lucy envied Anna. Anna was beautiful and had lots of friends. Anna and she were not the same kind of people at all. Jack didn't see anything wrong with his wife. He went to the poker show alone with his food. On the day of the party Lucy was in a beautiful mood. She hummed Christmas carols all the way to Anna's house. Anna's dog was barking through the door. Luckily Anna came and took her pet away just in time. The party started and everyone kept gossiping. Lucy could only stand on the periphery and listen to them complain about their married life and their husband's unsatisfactory behavior. They were talking about beauty. The colleagues were discussing which doctor was the best and who had the most natural-looking facelift. It was hard to get past this part. The women sat down to exchange gifts. Anna gave each of them a set of expensive cosmetics. Lucy took the opportunity to bring out her big box. Anna was shocked at the size. She opened her present to the roar of everyone. They all saw a wild duck. Lucy said the guts had been gutted. It was filled with non-perishable stuffing. The atmosphere was a little awkward for a while. Anna obviously couldn't understand this. She tucked the present back into the box. The others looked at each other and didn't know what to say. At this point Anna greeted everyone and asked them to try the cream. The women were rejuvenated. They squeezed a bunch of lotion into their hands. Lucy rubbed her hands together as they did. She watched with horror as they enjoyed it. Lucy applied it all the way to her face and then her whole face started to turn red. A colleague saw this and warned her. Everyone stopped to look at Lucy. Lucy had no choice but to leave the room early. Anna told her to go home early and get some rest. Lucy went home sullen. She couldn't help but complain to her husband. How could she be allergic to expensive skin creams? This skin is so bad. Lucy was depressed. There are so many beautiful women out there. Why did she look so stupid and ugly? Jack didn't agree with this. He told his wife to stop complaining. Lucy couldn't sleep for a long time at night. She looked at her ugly face in the mirror and became even sadder. She went into the living room to watch TV. She accidentally saw a commercial for a brightening skin cream. The presenter blew it out of proportion. Lucy used it and got a rash all over her face. And that's when the presenter suddenly called out Lucy's name and told her to place an order. She looked beautiful and fit in with the group. Lucy didn't know what to think. 
She actually talked to the TV and said that she was allergic to it and that it had no significant effect. The presenter actually responded. He said that if you use too little it won't work, you have to keep using it, and that it's normal to have a tingling sensation. This means that the skin is recovering. He then proceeded to brainwash Lucy. He exaggerated the functions of the cream, but there were side effects. Lucy was convinced by the presenter. She called and ordered the new product. She put away the unused one on her desk. The next day, the doorbell rang early and Lucy's cosmetics arrived. She carried the boxes to the storage room. It was full of brightening creams. Lucy continued to use it. Her skin was getting worse and worse. Jack was kind enough to warn her. But Lucy insisted that it was a process of skin regeneration and that she would just get over it. And she said Jack couldn't understand women because no one would accuse a man of being fat or unkempt even if he was. They didn't have much of a conversation before they broke up. Lucy was obsessed. She applied skin cream every day. Despite the stinging pain, the redness on her face got worse and worse, gradually spreading all over her body. Even at night, she kept scratching. Jack gave her the idea of putting on oven gloves and covering her nails before she went to bed. Lucy had just put on the gloves. The television suddenly came on. The presenter called Lucy over and he told her to trust the product with all her heart. Lucy puts her hand on the screen and meets the presenter's palm. Slowly she was brainwashed by the words. She was convinced that the product would give her a new lease of life. The presenter tells Lucy to increase her dosage. Then the TV went back to black. Lucy took the advice to heart. She went to the pantry to get the cream. The lotion spilled out uncontrollably. Lucy runs back to her husband in terror. The lotion in the basement was still spreading outwards. Gradually it spilled out of the carton and pooled on the floor. The next day Lucy found her face covered in dead skin. The skin on her arms even peeled off. She laughed happily. Jack is confused when he hears voices. He calls his wife out to watch a movie. Lucy stood on the stairs with her back to him. She told Jack not to feel free to accuse himself later. Then she walked into the living room. Jack saw his wife's face and he was shocked. Lucy hurriedly explained that it was just the process of becoming beautiful and that you did need to be nervous. Jack couldn't leave it alone any longer. This wasn't normal anymore. Lucy's face was peeling. He wanted to take Lucy to a doctor. But Lucy heard and lost her temper. She complained that Jack didn't believe her. Jack didn't say anything back. He asked Lucy if she had eaten anything today. Lucy shakes her head in embarrassment. He handed his wife a piece of bread, and he took Lucy's arm and said, you look beautiful to me outside and inside. Lucy didn't believe her husband. She wanted to peel her face off and throw it in the trash. Lucy ran off in a huff to the pantry. But she didn't expect the lotion to take on a human form and stand next to the cardboard box. Fascinated, Lucy walked over to her. The lotion man imitated her movements as it swayed with Lucy's body. The two slowly locked hands. Lucy unconsciously kisses the lotion man. She leans back into the lotion man's arms. Only by becoming beautiful could she be saved. Then she pulled out her utility knife and walked to the living room. Lost in thought, Jack saw that she was covered in slime and dazed. He hurriedly got up and walked over to Lucy. He wanted to restore Lucy's confidence. Wanted her to stop obsessing over some beauty secret. He loved Lucy because she was smart and clever and had a good heart. These qualities were more important than her skin. But right now Lucy is not listening to anything. Jack was angry too. He told her she had to stop this nonsense. They had a disagreement. Lucy saw that Jack was continuing to say things she didn't like. She plunged the knife into his head. The man sat dazed in his chair. His mind went blank. He pulled the knife out and blood gushed out of the wound instantly. Jack asked Lucy to help him get a towel. He braced himself to call the police on his walkie-talkie. But Lucy sneaks up on him from behind. Jack dropped to his knees. Lucy came at him with an axe in her hand. She killed her husband with a couple of blows, then turned and went upstairs. She followed the footprints of the lotion man until she reached the bathroom. The lotion man slowly crawled into the bath and returned to his slime state. Lucy stripped off her clothes and stepped in. She lay tentatively in the tub and soaked her whole body in it. Her body burned a little. The milk gradually crept up Lucy's cheeks. By the time the sun was about to set, Lucy climbs out of the tub. She stepped out of the shower covered in lotion. She went happily to the mirror. Lucy's skin was smoother and firmer. Her teeth were white and clean. Even her eyes were back to normal. And then, she took off her skin like a stocking. Lucy ran downstairs in excitement to find her husband. But Jack had already gone to God. She had to drag her husband into the storeroom. Then she dug out Jack's insides and made a specimen of him. Lucy cut off her long, strange hair, changed into a stylish dress and put on her makeup. 
Finally she put on her sunglasses and smiled confidently. She said goodbye to Jack, who was sitting on the sofa. The man looks flushed and even the cut on his forehead has been repaired. On the other side, Lucy is the last to arrive at the bank today. She takes off her coat to reveal her new outfit, stunning the eyes of all her colleagues. Everyone looks at the stunning Lucy. They go up and talk to each other ingratiatingly. Lucy has a charming scent that is irresistible. Even Anna was very attentive. Lucy was a completely different person. She began to share gossip with everyone and to denigrate other colleagues who weren't there. She and Anna make plans to go to a bar for a little get-together. Lucy finally gets her wish and pays the price. Was the transformation worth it? Only she knows for sure. This is the end of the episode. The story is directed by Anna Lilia Mipple, the director of the new Yin Yang Magic World. The setting is similar to that of the Korean beauty lotion, in that both are women who lose their minds in order to become beautiful. But in this film, Lucy's appearance doesn't change much before and after. She only changes her makeup and look. It's possible that she's been marginalized for a long time. She's a bit of a nervous wreck herself. This caused her to hallucinate about the TD skin cream. She eventually woke up and became like her colleague. It's possible that it wasn't the cream that made Lucy beautiful. It's the brainwashing of her ego.